Hello everyone, my name is Troy Thong and in this tutorial, because it's getting closer to New Year's Eve and Christmas has already passed, I'm going to teach you how to make this Ogami fireworks. So this is designed by Yami Murachi and um, this is a um, intermediate level Ogami so so if you um, don't like, if you're a beginner, um, I recommend you trying something else like try out my flapping bird video. So yeah, so this is how it works. So make sure your flaps are in, and you're going to open it like up like this. That's how it works. Yeah, and it keeps going. So this is um this is made out of about twelve sheets of paper. Now this involves some reverse folds and some squash folds but this is um well the hard bit is um connecting them together so i'll be showing you how to connect them so by the fold this let's explode so the size of the paper they want to use is about um 10 centimeters like i have right here and you're going to start um so you really want to use um, a paper with color on both sides because um, it would end up like this. So let's. So if you so if you're using um kami, then you can start white side up and fold diagonally in half, both ways. Unfold. And rotate it and do the same thing to this side. Now unfold and you're going to fold these four tips and you're going to fold them to the center. So this. Now you're going to unfold and you're going to turn it over and you're going to fold it um, in half horizontally. Unfold and now you're going to fold these two um, edges and fold them to the center. This one too. Now unfold. Now you're going to rotate the paper so that um about 45 degrees, so that these um these creases that we fold to the center are are uh, facing vertically. So what you're going to do is going to fold this flap up to. To this intersection. So these two intersections here, I'm going to fold them, fold the crease up to that. See the intersection here? Fold it up like that. Rotate it and do the same thing. Now unfold and turn it over to white side up. <coughs> so now you're going to make a water bottom base. So you're going to push in the middle and you're going to bring these two um, uh, uh, um, edges that we fold and bring them down on these two diagonal creases. And now we have this um, big flap. We're going to squash that down. <clears throat> so to make it flat. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is going to fold this flap up so that this 
edge hits this corner and now I'm going to squash forward um, these two um, props. Turn it over and do the same thing. <clears throat> now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this flap up on this crease. And at the same time you're going to make a squash fold like this. Now unfold, repeat on the other three flaps. Final one. Okay. Now you've finished your first unit. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make 12 more. Now if you want to do it um, in a color like this, you're going to make six yellow pieces and and six red pieces. But now I'm going to show you how to assemble them. Now um, this firework is actually locked together with these locks. So um, locking them is the hardest part as I said in the first. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to unfold. So so this is what you should so this is what it should look like at um, when you have 12 pieces. Now to, to join them together, what you need to do is um, pretend you have this piece. And you're going to um, slide, going to slide um, these two, um, like corners, and you're going to slide them into this um, open area here. Now, I'm d this is just an example. I'm not. I'm not going to connect it together. Um, it's just, um, yeah. So make sure they're the same size because this one's pretty huge. So, so, so when you lock them together, um, you should have something like this. And to lock them, you're going to fold this flap up. Same thing for this side. So, um. I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. So, all, so when all the flaps are locked, what you're going to do is now this bit is going to be the hardest part of the whole entire model. We're going to try to um, rotate this around and stick this this piece into this piece. Now it may sound easy, but it may not be. Well, for me, it won't. But so you're going to rotate this so it looks like something like this and you're going to stick this flap into this open flap not not this flap with the um corner sticking out it's, it's the flaps when the corners generate here see it in here so i'm going to stick them inside Yeah, so I'm going to try to um, open up the flaps a little bit and stick them in. Now you can just carefully slide this piece up. So right now it looks a little pretty messy, but to to fix that, you're going to stick your finger in and 
So now you can just stick it back in. And so when you've done that, now you're just going to fold this flap up to lock the flaps together. Like this. So when we've done that, you have your origami fireworks. Now, I I know this um was a pretty comic model, um an intermediate, but um if you if you um are good at folding, um you you could fold this. Now to make it work, you're going to well before you do that, make sure that none of these flaps are sticking up. Oh, this one just went up, so it's just gonna put it back in. If it just keeps coming up, um. Apply um, a bit of glue attack to it, and it should stick. I have one somewhere on here. So, so to um, so to open it up, you're going to open. Make sure the flaps stay in, and you're going to so it deforms and then comes back to its original shape. So. I decided to fold the origami fireworks by Yami Junji. So, um, so, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next tutorial and have a happy new year. Bye.